Okay, first I'd like to thank you all for coming to the meeting today. Everybody would uh, try to get a seat if you can. There's still about 10, 15 seats up front. Uh, oh yeah, a few ground rules of what's going to happen. During the presentations, I don't want any questions or comments during the presentations. At the end of each presentation, there will be a question and answer period. And that's when I want you to do that. There will also be no voting until all presentations are complete. Uh, we're sure that all members want to hear all the presentations so they exact, know exactly what they're voting on. Voting will take place immediately following today's meeting and continue from 9 to 5 at the Union Hall through next week and then Saturday from 9 a.m. until noon at the Union Hall, at which time we'll verify and count the ballots. Uh, voting for Wilmington members will take place in Wilmington from 3 to 10 p.m. Voting for Chillicothe members will be in Wilmington and Chillicothe will be from 3 to 10 in Chillicothe. Uh, we've given you ample time. The reason we're doing the stretched out voting during the week. We want to give you ample time to get the information, talk it over with your family, co-workers, friends, and don't make a hurried decision. There will be absolutely no absentee ballots or proxy ballots. Members of the plan will be required to vote at the designated place here at the hall or chill across your room to show some kind of ID and pass to and vote. Uh, these proceedings are being court reported and videotaped. The reason for this is during the presentation in 1998 there were many promises and comments made to you from insurance brokers, insurance committee members, and members that influenced your vote. Some of these promises and comments turned out to be flat out lies. As you all know, we've all paid dearly and reduced benefits because of some of these, the misrepresentation by these individuals. So uh, if anybody wants to misrepresent or say anything here that's not up and up, it's going to be on tape, court report, and videotape. Uh, and I'd like to have a presentation in 1998 uh, on videotape also. I'd love to have a copy of that. Uh, we can put it and a lot of these uh, political accusations and rumors floating around and uh, hold the individual responsible for the action that took place in that meeting. And like I say, hindsight's 2020. Wish I had a tape, but we don't, but we're going from here. You'll be hearing three presentations today. One from UPS, one from Central States, and one from CL, CRL, which was Maine Insurance, same people. At the end of these presentations, you'll be allowed to vote for four options. You're going to be able to vote for Avalon, Central States, CRL, or UPS. And the reason the reason you have an opportunity for Avalon, I want to explain that to you. Is our contract with Avalon and the current stop loss policies and everything do not expire until March 31st, 2000. Uh, we solicited proposals from many insurance companies and brokers representing about every major insurance company in the country. And our bid for proposals, we told these companies were self-insured, that they took our plan, they'd have to assume any runoff claims that we wouldn't have as reserves possible to pay for. Only three places, UPS, CRL, and Central States are willing to make up and make a proposal at this time. Basically all other companies are stating due to our claims history and the problems we've had in the past, they aren't willing to assume any runout if there is any. I also want to let you know that uh, we should have some reserves left by the end of the year. Uh, Terry Smith has estimated around 372000 I hear all sorts of rumors of what happens with that. Every bit of money this plan ever has could do nothing but be spent on uh, benefits for the members in the plan. 